England have had several players sent off but progressed to the quarterfinals of the Women's World Cup after beating Nigeria on penalties. England star Lauren James was sent off in regulation time but advanced to the quarterfinals of the Women's World Cup after beating Nigeria on penalties in Brisbane on Monday. James was shown a red card in the 87th minute after a moment of madness late in the game stepping on Michelle Aluzzi's back but a 10-man England held on an extra time to take the game to penalties. Although Georgia Stanaway missed the first penalty, England's remaining spot kicks were near perfection with Chloe Kelly, the woman in the Lioness's big moment, hitting her effort into the roof of the net to secure a 4-2 penalty shootout victory. Kelly, who scored the winning goal for England in the Euro 2022 final, said after the match, We've practiced, penalties, a lot actually, and yes, it works. For me, I'm going to score and that's the way I look at it and once I win that mental battle, we're good to go. Nigeria were the better team and had chances to secure what could have been a shock win over the European champions, but in extra time the Lionesses especially struggle. With Bon Jovi's living on a prayer kicking into the field in the first half of extra time, England were doing just that. England were already in a vulnerable position before James Red card and Nigeria will see this as a huge missed opportunity to win a World Cup knockout game for the first time. Missed defeats by Michelle Aluzzi and Desire Opernazzi proved costly in the end. Life is unfair and football is sometimes unfair, said Nigeria striker Rashid at Ajabad after the match. We deserve to win, but that's how it is. We just have to go back to the drawing board and build from here. Next time, we have to take our chances. We have to do more and we will continue to work individually and collectively. The Super Falcons came the closest to scoring twice hitting the crossbar before the match ended in extra time. English-born Ashley Plumtree starred for Nigeria throughout the tournament and hit the bar with a thunderous volley in the first half. Everyone is very disappointed because we did really well and pushed England to the limit. We had really good chances, said Plumtree. When all the emotions subside, we'll be proud of ourselves. We set the standards for ourselves and that should be the minimum for us now. While England fans in Brisbane were confident of a comfortable win before the match, nerves soon began to take over as the match drew to a close. I didn't know if we were going to succeed. I don't think England played their best. I didn't expect to win, said Lioness's fan Tash Travers, who has lived in Australia for the past five years. But as Neil Diamond played Sweet Caroline, the unofficial anthem for England's men's and women's soccer teams inside Brisbane Stadium, Lionesses fans walked off the field knowing their World Cup journey would continue. Next time England will meet Jamaica or Colombia. They play the round of 16 on Tuesday.